As Florida braces for Hurricane Melton, the atmosphere is charged with tension and anticipation. Tornadoes have already made their presence felt, acting as ominous precursors to what is predicted to be one of the most severe hurricanes in recent history. The storm is expected to make landfall late Wednesday night or early Thursday morning, bringing with it catastrophic winds of up to 260 kilometers h, that is approximately 161 miles per hour, and storm surges reaching 4.5 meters, that is about 15 feet high, as warned by the National Hurricane Center. Residents in Fort Myers have already experienced the ferocity of the storm as a tornado touched down, causing significant damage, uprooting trees, and leaving many without power. The situation has escalated to such a degree that Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has urged residents, especially those along the western coastline, to evacuate immediately. With the clock ticking, the call to action has become urgent. As Hurricane Milton closes in, officials have labeled it an extremely dangerous storm, with President Joe Biden describing it as potentially the worst hurricane to hit Florida in a century. In the wake of the previous hurricane, Helene, which already wreaked havoc across the state, the entire Florida peninsula is under watch. As of now, the National Weather Service reported that seven tornadoes have already touched down in Florida ahead of Milton's arrival, raising alarms among emergency management officials. These tornadoes, a byproduct of the hurricane's strength, have prompted over 53 tornado alerts in the state, with authorities urging residents to remain vigilant and prepare for further inclement weather. Despite the threat of destruction, some tourists have chosen to stay at Disney World in Orlando, determined to make the most of their trip. Visitors like the McDonald family, who traveled from Scotland, are taking in the rides and attractions under rainy skies, albeit with ponchos and a sense of adventure. However, their hearts go out to the locals facing a much harsher reality as they are forced to evacuate. Many in the parks are aware of the dangers that Hurricane Milton poses to Florida residents and express their concern for those who must leave their homes behind. As the storm approaches, Major attractions have temporarily shut their doors, and thousands of residents are taking refuge in shelters set up by the state. Over 30,000 people have sought shelter, with authorities ensuring accommodations are available for both people and pets. The situation is dire, with reports of essential supplies being rushed to affected areas, including over 20 million meals and 40 million liters of water. With authorities in high alert, the message is clear safety comes first. As the winds howl and rain pours down, Florida is united in its efforts to prepare for the worst. Governor DeSantis has made it clear that they are anticipating significant impacts, and residents are being urged to stay informed, keep communication lines open, and adhere to evacuation orders when issued. The coming hours are critical as Hurricane Milton advances toward Florida's shores, with many hoping for the best while preparing for the worst. As we watch this evolving situation, it's essential to remain alert and supportive of one another. Communities are banding together to help those in need, and we must remember the importance of staying safe during such unpredictable weather events. The potential for devastation looms large, but the resilience of the people of Florida is equally formidable. Let's keep everyone affected in our thoughts as they navigate through this challenging time. Stay subscribed for more videos.